Yo, what's up, Sexy Seven Letter Squad? It is a Try Hard Thursday. I know this video is going to go up just a bit late because I went and I did some stuff today because it's Smite 2 Alpha today. Smite 2's Alpha comes out tonight, and it's going to be from... The time this video goes up, by the way, I'll most likely be streaming. So come on over to the stream. It's twitch.tv slash Sam the Dude. Sam the Dude, right there. <laughs> Just go over there and follow. That's I'm not I'm not even live right now. Someone just used Nexus. That's what that donut was. Um, but just go over there and it's, I mean transcendence kind of stinks, right? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's just do this. This. <clears throat> but yeah, right when you see this video, go over to twitch.tv says Sam the dude. I'll probably be live playing smite 2 if smite 2 is not out yet i'll be live playing smite pre-gaming smite 2 um i'm gonna have a ton of fun with it i'm gonna be playing smite 2 today tomorrow and saturday i actually have a tournament i'm playing saturday so a smite 2 tournament is gonna be sick so yeah i hope to see you guys there but today's try out thursday and i'm playing naja first game in for quaker ted who at 9 p.m last night came to my twitch channel while i was asleep <laughs> well, i wasn't asleep at night but i wasn't at my computer and he asked me to play naja but he did it in such a kind way i thought you know what sure sure i'll give it a shot oh that crew was nasty that crew was nasty i'm popping horrific here hold on wait Ooh. Oh god, ouch. Oh, he's going soul eater. I don't think that's very good for him. Although his clear is really, really quality. Oh, I'm getting owned here. I'm getting owned here. Does he hit five? Hmm. If he hits five, he might kill me. Actually, I think I can tank it. He is five. I think I can tank it and beads it. Oh. Oh. I don't think that's what he wanted to do. Hmm. He just ran all the way away, man. He just ran all the way away. Alright. I am not killing him here. As much as I really want to... I don't think I can. What I can do, though, is... get rock. I kind of want to get XP camp before I back, but I think getting XP camp is kind of troll here. I'm not going to do it. Let's just get the, the, the transcendence and start stacking. My headset's a little tight. I do have a big head though. <laughs> Crimson claw. Does that item just get buffed or something? Am I crazy? That item stinks, dude. Oh, it's 50 power. Wait a second. I'm kind of feeling like it got buffed. Wait a second. Holy crap, I'm getting cooked. Uh oh. Oh my god. Wait. I'm getting owned. It's twice as much power as Transcendence. Did that item just get a buff this patch? It might have. Because holy crap, dude. That... The stats on that are, like, way better than what I thought. I thought it was 40 power. But there's no way they give it a 20% increase, right? Maybe? 
<clears throat> I don't know. Either way, I I take back what I said about that item being bad because he is gonna own me with that item. Let's get rock. All right. He's going transcendence now. Did he do XP camp? He didn't. All right. So I am not going to be fighting. I don't think I can fight. What I'm going to be doing is letting him get the buffs and just trying to farm. Slowly farm. Because if I can make it to late game, I can. I can do something. He's not showing there. I could go chalice here, but I kind of want to get cooldown as soon as possible. I wonder if that's going to be just like an instant dominance. The power spike of Crimson Claw into dominance might be, might be insane. I'm not going to fight you. I'm just clearing I'll poke you up, maybe all right this is a pretty good fight for me so far to be honest with you no way that I just got owned Hold on. Oh. He altered through tower or through wave. That's fine. That's fine. Not much I can do here, so I'm just going to get rocked away from my one. Okay. Oh, he's going Transcendence too, actually. That was a bit annoying. Gonna run away. Um, maybe into Beat Stick? Like, I know he heals from his two, and he's he's got Chalice, he's got Life Steal. A Beat Stick might be good here. There's also the possibility that I'm extremely overvaluing the Life Steal that Crimson Call gives him. It's 15%. It's not like it's bad or anything, but I could still be over uh, overvaluing. He's probably sitting in his blue buff waiting. He wasn't. I don't think it's worth me going to invade blue and giving up the wave. Because I don't think I can. Oh, I don't think I can out secure a blue buff anyways from him. Or I, I should say, I don't think I can out-secure a buff in general from him. Right. It's fine. I saw on the minimap that he didn't actually uh, go with it, you know? Um... I might be able to kill him here. Nice. Okay. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff there. Now is red actually up to? Ooh. Okay. We are cooking. We are cooking. So, I know I can't pick up the red buff, but if he can't have red buff and I have scepter and my transcendence is about to be fully stacked, which means I get 10 base pen. Um, I think I might be able to fight him. He's got no beads. Hmm. Maybe I can't fight him. Maybe he's hanging out under tower. That's right, I can go get Beat Stick now. 
I'm surprised you didn't want to fight that. Uh, and the heart seeker, I guess. Oh, duality got better, right? Duality got a massive buff. So it used to take 50%. It used to take 50% of your auto attack damage and transform it into ability based damage. So like you're, let's say you auto attack for hundred. Instead, your auto attack will be 50 and then you, you'll do 50 ability damage. And then that ability damage will proc item effects. Now, this is a bad idea. Get me out of here. Get me out of here, please. Sorry. Now, okay. Uh, duality doesn't take away any damage from your auto attack, so your auto attack will still do normal damage. But you also get an additional 25% damage. Thank you, baby. You get an additional 25% damage as ability base. Um, or as ability damage. So instead of doing, literally speaking, no additional damage. And then just like proccing item effects. We're doing 25% more damage while also proccing item effects. And it can trigger Hydras because it doesn't take away from your auto attack damage like a percentage of your auto attack damage isn't going away which means it's not going to lower your your like hydra's proc so it got way better i'm just gonna fight inside this because i'm pretty sure i can win this nice nice i just had to wait out the uh i had to wait out the beads that he had Had to wait out the beads. Ouch. So yeah, I might go duality this game. I don't think it's like a fantastic item yet. Like a must purchase on any ability based character. But I do think it's a significantly better item than what it was. And it might be worth buying in some cases. Like in this case, since I am going to be going Heartseeker and I might be going um, Crusher as well here. I think I will go Crusher. Um, because of those two facts, Duality might be good here for me. And it's got, what, some attack speed on it, right? It got more power. It went from 45 power to 55 power. So it's one of the highest power items in the game for any kind of physical character. It procs Hydras, if you build Hydras. And... It procs Heartseeker and Crusher. It's kind of good. I'm going to buy it. It might be bait, but I'm going to buy it and we're going to test it. Obviously, I can't get Hydras yet. Or not Hydras, sorry. Uh, Bull Demon. I don't know why I thought of Hydras. You have no beads. You are kind of healthy. Yeah, I don't do enough. Our secret only did 42 damage. Hmm. All right, let's just get the XP on the map that we can. Okay, that's annoying. I wonder when Bull Demon spawns, is he going to come over here and contest it? Or is he going to just chill with me? He's going to vibe with me. Trying to listen for him. I don't hear him anywhere. There he is. Wow, that was bad. Nice. I wait for him to throw his two down. Because, um... Oh, you might just be dead. Holy crap. I'm doing damage. Uh, but I wait for him to throw his three down. Or not his three, I'm sorry. That's his two, right? The one that CCs you, it taunts you towards it before I ult because that guarantees that I don't get CC'd and I don't need to waste my beads on it. If I don't have to waste my beads on that, I can be super aggro with beads later. Also, I don't even need to do Bull Demon because I do enough damage as is. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy Phoenix. Um... Let's see. 
I don't know where he is. Oh, there he is. Okay. Let's get Crusher, and now we'll start Duality. I don't want to win this game until I see a Duality proc. Because I feel like it could actually be good. 25%. So what is it? What is it exactly? Additional 25% of your basic attack power as physical ability damage. So this right here, this first number right here, this is your basic attack power, which is 278, which means I'll get 25% of that somewhere around 60. Um, I mean that, no, it's like, it's like 70. It's about 70. Um, so I'll get 70 extra damage on my next auto attack, which will also proc heart seeker and crusher. Oh, also, the damage can trigger item effects. It's every three seconds instead of every five. So, not only did they give it a 25% damage increase, which is massive, they also gave it more power for essentially even a higher damage increase. And they made the proc more often. I don't know, man. <clears throat> a lot of people tell me it's bait all the time. But it, to me, it just it kind of sounds good. But I'll test it this game. We'll see. We'll see how good it is. We'll see what the burst is like. Because duality, realistically, the only thing it's meant for is massive burst. If you're not bursting with duality, you're doing it wrong. Also, the reason I'm not like pushing to win the game is because, like I said, I don't want to win this game without testing out duality. He will not get over here. Fast enough, at least. Heal. Nice old 240 health. We get rock. And we get duality. Perfect. All right. Let's go time, baby. It's go time. Let's see how good this is. So do I get like, um, I don't get shown when it's active, but I assume if this is not on cooldown, it's active. You know, I assume it's like poly. If it's not on cooldown, it's active. Does it work on minions? It does work on minions. Okay. So check this out. I mean, Duality did 127. Duality did 127. Crusher and Heartseeker both did really good damage. I don't know, man. It seems kind of decent. Kind of decent. We got his beads. And his shell and his ult there. Look at that burst damage, dude. Okay, Duality's burst damage is crazy good on Naja. Najini action, man. I stink. Ow. Did he, does he have crit? Ow, that hurt. Um, okay. I got scared. Nice. We got him. Pow, pow, pow. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, duality. I don't know. I can't tell if it's bait or not. It gives you so much power. It gives you so much power and it's proccing like 60 damage plus heart seeker plus crusher. Maybe, maybe if you're more auto attack focused, it's a little bit better. I don't know. I got to think about it more and I'll get back to you with my opinion in the second game. So give me a, give me two minutes for this Q to pop or a minute and then like 30 seconds to pick my God. And then I'll talk to you more about it.
Welcome back to game two, and I've thought about it, and I think duality is bait. Because hear me out. I don't even need to punch him in the head to win the game, you know? Like, I could have just won the game by being by, by, by doing things. I'm fighting Captain Twig. The Twigster. It's the Twigster. Let's go, dude. This will be a fun one. This will be a fun one. Or it won't. Captain Twig. My goat. Um, I think I can do red, honestly. But I kind of want blue. I also feel like I could invade very successfully. Because knockup is OP. Holy crap, he is strafing fast. He was fucking bee hopping to lane. Y'all saw that? My dude's bee hopping. Minions have spawned. And he's watching for the gank. Does not see the gank. I'm coming in. This is good for me, I think. Oh man, that's close. Oh, that's close. That is close. Oh, I'm feeling good. I'm not feeling so good anymore. I am not feeling so good anymore. This is a close fight. This is a close battle, dude. Why did he get thorns? And I stink. All right, you can have my blue. That's fine. You can have my blue. I'm just going to back. I'm watching the gold go up. It's normal. It's normal. It's normal. It's not normal. Damn it. I think he's just running to his blue. Damn it. He's just running. All right. Unlucky. His alt is down, which maybe gives me fighting opportunity, even though I don't have Bancrofts. But I will get Bancrofts now. So let's see. Who's ahead here? We're, I mean, we're pretty even. He's a little bit ahead. He's ahead in XP, which is the biggest thing. He got rock. I think I might just need to chill out here. Because he seems like he's playing like uber passive. I got one. I'll take the one. You know what? I think that's actually good for me. I think that's good for me because I died first, which gave him bounty gold, which means I received bounty gold for killing him. And because he was ahead of me, I got a little more gold than he did. Oh, 
Okay, you're just gonna ignore the wave and hit me. That's kind of cringe. Nice. I just charged it up because I figured why not. He just wants to hit me with those autos. As he should, to be fair. Nice. With my defense and this Bancrofts, I am I am feeling pretty good here. Alright. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna drop my heal. I wonder what he's uh what he's cooking here. Definitely wants his blue. I'm definitely not gonna let him have it for free. He's gonna have to chow me for it. Which is fine, you know, if Okay. Or he'll alt for it. Honestly getting alt there is good. All right, good stuff so far. I'm not even mad about this. I'm uh, I'm pretty happy actually about how this is going. We're pretty even. I'm definitely better late game. Like, I'm Oleron for God's sakes. There's no way I could be worse late game. I have free crit chance. I do about the same damage as him. You can have that if I can have rock. Agreed. That is that is definitely a trade I'm willing to take. Well, that crit. Nice. Nice. Oleron is like, he's just so strong. He's just so hard to push over. You know what I mean? Um, I'm assuming he's going to go Pestilence here for his next item. It would make the most sense. I will say he has alt for red buff and I don't have alt for red buff. So that kind of sucks. He is going Pestilence. That's fine. Good damage for me. Mm. I think I can just tank this. I can just be like super abusive here. Oh, if that crit, I think he actually died, to be honest with you. Oh, you lucky, lucky dog. Okay. Anyway, he had the back out there. He also knows that very obviously he's going to have to fight me. With Scepter, maybe I stand a chance. Nice. Nice, dude. Let's go. Oh, that was bad. Um, if he, if he does bold him in here, I don't mind, do I? So I'm going to do this and then upgrade that. Second relic, I don't know yet. He got beads, which makes sense because my ult. 
Um, I almost think maybe a horrific here would be would be good. Just to lower his damage output a little. Oh, I missed that. That's that's criminal. Oh, but I got one of those. He's just going to be a little scared here, which is fine. He's allowed to be. Damn. Oh, well played, man. Look at how much fucking damage I did, though. How's he? Oh, I guess just Aussie is healing him that much. 1900, 2200, 25, 2600. 2600? Really? That's a lot, man. Hmm. He didn't go for my tower, instead opting to go for red buff and rock, probably. Or one... Or, or red buff. Backing without getting rock. Maybe rock didn't spawn yet. Oh, no, he just got it. Just got to end back. I mean, he lost tower for that. That was greedy. his dash is down. I could ult here and force his ult, I guess. I don't know. My ult is better than his, though. I shouldn't have done that, I don't think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm just dead here. I die there Your middle tower is under did i knock away my own blue buff and he was able to kill me with with the auto i think that's exactly what happened actually he's so tanky man i really need anti-heal huh well, what kind of anti-heal hmm I just go Toxic Blade, maybe? I feel like it doesn't give me power, so it's not really worth buying. Which might be a bait by me. Good game, though, so far. He just backed. Mm -hmm. I got bladed boomerang. I can crit all of his fucking autos instantly. That's crazy. Man. 
He got 20% crit chance and crit three out of five autos in the initial beginning of the fight. The first two and then the fourth, which is, that's insanely lucky, by the way. That sucks for me. Um... Damn, dude, I just can't fight him at all. I literally can't fight him at all. I mean, Cyclopean is putting in work. 300 damage. Not bad. But... I don't know, man. thousand gold away still not a thousand gold away it cost a thousand gold only have a 43 percent crit chance i need spectral too huh bro every auto is a crit god damn Um, all right, he's going to Bull Demon. Nothing I could do about that, to be honest with you. can't believe he lived through that. That's so bad for me. That is so bad for me. Um. Okay, I have to have a 500 pot here. He's got Deathbringer finished now. I do not win these. He bought a 500 pot too. That, I guess that is crazy. That is crazy damage, man. Holy. Somebody just typed in my chat. Really want this red buff. My shell didn't go off. Oh, Fuck me, man. That sucks. All right. We'll see you guys next game. Yo, what's up, guys? I'm back. Uh, very tough loss for me. Last game, because I hate losing on video. I know it was a really close game. I had, um, like, literally, while he was at Phoenix, if I landed one auto attack, like, one auto attack more, he had, like, eight health or something. Um... I would have just won the game instantly right there. Because if he died there, I got 15 seconds as Oleron to take an objective. Obviously, that Phoenix is going down. And I can just alt and kill Titan super quick. Probably before he even spawns, so. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate, but that's fine. I It's fine, I guess. I don't love it, but it's fine, I guess. Um... I'm going to play super passive here, I think. So I'm going to get my one. I'm going to go for stuns. Or am I? What's the damage I create? Oh, that's a lot, dude. 55% damage increase. 
100 to 155. I think that's worth, right? I think that's worth, probably. But yeah, either way, I don't really like... <clears throat> um, uploading losses, but... If the loss is at least competitive and it's against literally a world champion, you know, it's fine. I was one auto away from beating a world champion. I, I think I can accept that. And I talked to Twig after the uh, the game. And he said that if you're a good Medusa player, that he would rather have Medusa in that matchup than Oleron. So he actually thinks Medusa wins that matchup regardless. So if he thinks, if he thinks that his god wins the matchup and I gave him a competitive game, I will take it. But now I'm playing Agni because I, I don't know what it is, but I've been lo loving Agni. You're going to dash away. I'm going to stun you anyways. If my dash is up, you die here. Oh, I died the tower? Really? Oh, horrific. Horrific took out 95 HP of my shield. And then I died to the tower shot. That's crazy. That timing is fucking criminal. I'm not going to lie to you. My mental is also a bit shot because losing in duel actually triggers me. No matter what. Like I could I could have the most hard fought game of my life and almost win, but then end up losing. And I, I will, I will want to punch a hole through the universe itself. I want to create a second big bang, you know, like... I, it's just I've played so much duel in my life that losing even when I know it's okay to lose it just it sends me sideways man which is why you can very clearly tell like a, a change in attitude from game two to game three that's okay though it's okay to be human it's okay to have emotion when you lose just don't let it ruin your whole day sulk for 20 minutes and move on you know can I have that please Nope, I cannot. I'm dead. I'm not dead. Right, this god gets really good, but early game, he's a little bit of a pushover because he's not doing a lot of damage and his, his cooldown doesn't own yet. So... I'm a, I'm a slight pushover at the moment. Just give me some time. Let me cook. Let me cook a little bit and then I'll, I'll be better. I'm going to stand here so I can see two treasure chest spawns. Nice. I actually can just dash that. And move back over to it. Where are you? I guess he also started red buff, right? Nice. I don't mind this. Oh, if my two hit. If my two hit, I think he dies there, but... That's alright. I'm pretty sure... He's going to invade me. I think it'd be crazy for him not to. Especially because he has defense already and I don't. But I guess he's not invading. Lucky for me. Give me. Nice. Well, let's just go back here. Press plate. Obviously... Did I just get called stupid by Agni? Kind of messed up, bro. You doing bull demon? I guess he can. I don't think he should, but I guess he could. He has tier 2 defense. I can maybe kill here. Hmm, close. Close. He did stop his back though. Ooh. 
You can gonna alt this, maybe? Hmm. It is hard to get the last hit on right now. Oh shit. This is up. Oh, I think I'm dead. No? Maybe you're dead? No? No. He's alive? Oh, man. He is so tanky. Okay. All right. That's acceptable, I guess. I wasn't able to kill him, but I got enough gold to fully upgrade this to give me... What does that bring me to? 70 physical prots. And I got his blue. Pestilence is such a good item, man. Pestilence is like Omega tanky. Okay. Oh, I thought I had another uh, tick of my ult there. Oh, unlucky. Dude, he just, he just is not taking damage, man. Why is he just not taking damage? I'm doing damage. dead let's go let's go oh man what a scary game dude pestilence of medusa my second game in a row fighting pestilence medusa i guess she must be meta right now she must be like one of the best gods in duel right now or something because twig and her are playing it or Twig and this this person. I said her because Medusa's a she, but I don't know. I don't know. God damn, dude. What the fuck is that? Okay, that was much better. Okay, I guess I'm fighting Houdini. Unlucky.
But I get rock and red buff and divine here. Okay, that's fine. Nice. I was able to simply wait out his, uh... Wait out his thing. What is that called? I mean, he's just putting himself between me and tower every time. Which does make it hard for me, but... Not that hard. That caught me. That's tragic. Please. Man, five bombs and a two, and I still don't get the blue. That's a, that's an unfortunate wrap. I'm going to go Spear, though. I think Spear is really good. I also could go Deso, but that overcaps cooldown. I don't think it matters that much. My only issue is I feel like I have no sustain right now. Because I have no sustain right now. Well. I guess I don't really need lifesteal. Since he's got pestilence. Maybe it's okay to not have any lifesteal. Maybe. You know what the thing is? I think Agni is so good in Conquest because you don't build defense against him. Also, items in Conquest are much better than items in Duel. Like, I can't build Deso in, in Con or in Duel because it just won't fit. He's just running, man. He's actually just running the whole time. I can definitely kill him, actually, here. Okay. Okay. I don't know why he did that. It's like he forgot that I have range. Okay. Or maybe he wanted to like fight for red buff, but I just, I just controlled him too much. We do get Phoenix. I was going crit. He got boomerang. Oh man. That item is too good. Alright, you have rock. I don't want to fuck with boomerang. Um, You know? I'm just going to go reaver. He only has 2100 health, but maximum... Oh no, it starts scaling. It's only 2250. I guess he will have 2250 health, but he doesn't yet. Please tell me you're dead. Oh, let's go. My passive, dude. My passive barely killed him. Storyver did 72 damage and it procced 11 times. I hit him with 11 abilities. What a bad item to pick up here. All right. That's really good Titan damage though. Really, really good Titan damage. Uh, 
Um, all right, I back. I kind of want to go soul gem instead of this. It's got like this is this is my build in conquest. It's it's um most likely conduit, and then it's deso coin. Um, or deso divine coin or coin divine whichever one. Deso coin divine reaver soul gem, and I just do so much damage. No idea where he is. I'm using my three to clear because I don't want to proc my passive. Right, I think he's dead here. He's got blink. Damn. He backed so fast, bro. He like blinked and insta backed. That was a really fast turn because it caught me off guard. Nice. Nice. Um, can I kill Titan here, maybe? Smite 2 is up, by the way. So I'm really trying to end the game so I can end the video. GG Gamer. Um, so I can go play Smite 2. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, the win does help the mental come back, but the most thing that helps the mental come back is playing a brand new fucking sick game. I'll see you guys on Smite 2 on Twitch.tv. Says Sam the Dude. Peace.